This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Mora has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Benson's a guy that they basically build this offense around Kirk. I mean, he is the workhorse of this offense. And one thing the offensive coordinator does a really good job of using him in different ways. I mean, you'll see him catch the ball to the backfield. He can run for big carries. So they do a nice job of using and showing him the diversity that he brings with his offensive scheme. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Second down, three yards to go. Ball on the 32. Here's a counter to the right. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Caught with room to work. Brought down around the 35-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Benson gains around three yards on the run. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 38. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Room around the corner. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Like a couple of boxers in round one, these two teams are feeling each other out. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Makes it out to about the 40. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's scrambling. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. The Seminoles running back taken out earlier, sidelined with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. He's taken down at the 14-yard line. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. From the 15-yard line, it's second down.
three-yard gain by the running back. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he adds the extra point. A nice seven-play, 52-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 7-0. Mora has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. At the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Demon Deacons on this are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle made at the 39. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 39-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He takes it in at the 14. Oh, what a hit. Pretty good job by the return man there. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody opened downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Wake Forest up seven points. And he has it on the corner. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's finally shoved out at the 40-yard line. He showed pretty good ability to read the defense and see an opening. That is a very frustrating play for a defense, too. And it can be demoralizing. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And down he goes, right around the 26-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Pitches it. He's got the corner. Inside the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. You love to have a home run threat like him in the backfield. Every time he touches the ball, he's capable of tearing one off like that. And 
And he tacks on the extra point. So a five-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Wake Forest defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. And he hits him hard at the 23. from their own 23-yard line. Second down. Throws out to the running back, no good. Zips it to the tight end. He's hit and taken down. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Wake Forest showing what we expected them to do today, and this one could get kind of ugly, I think. Yeah, this one's about to get out of hand. I don't know about at your house, but at my house, we have a 21-point rule, and if you get down by 21, we turn it over. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. First and 10. Ball on the 48 yard line. He heaves it deep. And he's tackled at about the 11. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Demon Deacons on this really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. They'll bring him down at the 24. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Looks to the back and can't connect. He goes out of bounds at the 27-yard line. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Uh, 
They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. Wake Forest offense right now, I think all you can call is scary. Well, they can attack you in so many different ways. They have a quarterback right now that's getting the ball out of his hands and making great decisions, and they have playmakers all over the field. This offense is tough to stop. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 33. First quarter of action comes to an end, and it's been pretty lopsided so far. 21 to nothing, Demon Deacons. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Scrambling around. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, third down. Brought down at about the 49. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He tackles him for a loss. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 49-yard line. There he goes. He's pushed out of bounds at the 31. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 31. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Level at the 34. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Caught over the middle. He's tackled at about the 27 yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Looking for his man, incomplete. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Pitches back. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Laterals back. He's got an opening. Gets out to around the 45. First and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line.
He's taken down at the 47 yard line. Third down and they need to get it down to the 35. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle made at the 36. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Trying to change the field position with his kick. He punt. No, he faked it. He's taken down at the 35. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Throws it out at all. He's hit hard for a loss. And they back up three yards on that play. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From the 22-yard line, second down. Nice run there. Benson gains about four yards on the play. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Quick out to his receiver. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They try to get a head start there. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. And they got him for a loss. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. It's second and goal. Ball on the 12-yard line. Touchdown, FSU! Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Fitzgerald ready to kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And they'll bring him down behind the line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. There's a strike complete, and he's hit immediately. That little play action good for about four yards. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 27-yard line.
He throws right. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Douglas will be the return man. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. The Seminoles know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. The halfback loses about one on the option. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Complete. He's got room. And down he goes. Right around the 40. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled around the 21-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21. He scrambles. Now he's going to run and watch out. Dives forward. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. He's on the run. Got an opening. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Touchdown, Seminoles! So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. Florida State is ready to kick it away. Williams fields it at the three. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Wake Forest is up by a touchdown. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. Wake Forest is going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Fires out to his wide out. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Gets to about the 41 yard line. Now he tries to buy some time, and they get the sack. Fire. 
catches it, and that's all. He's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He sails it long. What a pick. We've seen quite a bit of offense here as we reach halftime. Our score is the Demon Deacons lead 21-14. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Wake Forest is up seven. Nice run to the left there. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick throw, and they push him out at the 45-yard line. From the 45-yard line, first down. Pressured and brought down. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Swings it out left to the halfback. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball in the 29. Wake Forest is up a score. Right, 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 right. 
Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Gets it out quickly. Tackle around the four yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's taken down at the one. Second down, goal to go. About a yard to Pater. And they'll get him in the backfield. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. Tenth play of the drive. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 77-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a 7-on-7 seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here's the give. He's tackled around the 24-yard line. One-yard loss for the halfback. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40, and he tackles him hard at the 41. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 41. Tackle made at the 49. that quickly incomplete and they'll look to convert here on another third down five wide they'll drop him for a loss he had nowhere to go on that option play boy you're right he's lucky he held on to the football there Tackle made at the 13-yard line. Demon Deacons on this aren't easing back, that's for sure. They're not content to sit on the lead they had. No, I think they're continuing to go out and execute, try to extend this lead, and just playing overall is much better here in the second half. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He 
He's taken down around the 18-yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. Goes over the middle, intercepted. And down he goes at about the 25-yard line. Just when it looked like this offense might be able to put this game out of reach, you turn the football over with an interception? Boy, this could come back in a big way to bite you. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Slings it. And he's tackled at the 20. Now he pitches it. Ball is loose. Fumble. Recovered by the offense. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Wow. Very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Florida State ready to kick this one off. Williams takes it at the four, and he's tackled at the 21. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. They bring him down in the backfield. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Demon Deacons on this. Saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. He makes his way to about the 42. From their own 42-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he's level at the 40. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Douglas, back to return it. Fielded at the 19. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Don't leave yet, folks. We still got one more quarter to go. Wake Forest in front by 11. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Tackled for a loss. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from this safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on their own 24. Quick pass, and he's tackled in the open field. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gives it to the back. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From their own 40-yard line. It's second down. Nice run to the outside. And they make the stop at the 45. From the 45-yard line, first down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. So they get about four yards from play action. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 37. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's scrambling. Brought down at the 23. After that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. They'll knock him down for a loss. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Big play, and it's first and goal. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And he hits him hard at the six. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play.
It's second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. This is the 12th play of this drive. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it is good. Mora gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 24. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 27. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 44-yard line. Now he's flushed, and they got him. That's a big-time sack by the safety, and the defensive coordinator's got to love to see this willingness to take a chance there and be able to come up with a sack. Would not shock me at all to see this defensive coordinator continue to be aggressive later in the game. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. On the throw, incomplete pass. Caught, enough for the first down. He's at the 30, and he's taken down right around the 16-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. What a play, and that is first and goal. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. Quick throw in the end zone. Touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine-play, 78-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute in the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you're going to move the ball down the field. He'll return it from the six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. A lot of concern from his teammates with a guy down on the field. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Ellison, left side, 
And they push him out at the 30. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Handoff inside. Tackle made at the 42. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Feeds it to the back. The Seminoles call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Ellison comes away with five yards on the carry. Florida State's out of timeouts. He's taken down at the 33. They run it left. He's tackled at about the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, first down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. This is the eighth play of this drive. And so that's going to do it. Demon Deacons on this. Come out on top. 31-24. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, 